Welcome back into the world of cross-dressing stories. Now, please consider subscribing and check out my Patreon for more exclusive goodies. David's apartment, nestled in the bustling heart of a vibrant city, served as his private canvas, a place where he could paint his true colors unseen. Each evening, after the sun dipped below the skyline and the city lights flickered to life, David would delve into his cherished ritual. Behind the locked door, his living space transformed into a sanctuary filled with the soft rustle of fabric and the subtle scent of makeup. This evening, like many before, David stood in front of his full-length mirror, draped in a flowing red dress that cascaded elegantly to the floor. The fabric hugged his form, fluttering slightly with each movement as he applied the finishing touches to his makeup. His hands, steady and practiced, traced the contours of his face with a brush, enhancing his features to reflect the woman he felt he was inside. As he added a final sweep of mascara, accentuating his already striking eyes, the sound of a key turning in the lock sliced through the quiet hum of the apartment. His heart lurched. It was too early for anyone he knew to stop by, and panic fluttered in his chest like a trapped bird. The door creaked open, and Lisa stepped in. Her eyes, wide with surprise, landed on David, or Danny, as she would soon come to know him. The air thickened with tension, charged with the electricity of a pivotal, irreversible moment. David froze, his brush suspended mid-air, his eyes locked on Lisa's. Time seemed to stretch, taut as the silence between them. The vulnerability of being seen in his full attire and exposure of his deepest, most guarded self left him breathless. Lisa, after a moment that felt like an eternity, closed the door gently behind her. Her initial shock softened into a gentle expression of understanding. She took a cautious step forward, her heels clicking softly against the wooden floor. David, she started, her voice a soothing balm in the charged atmosphere. But then, correcting herself with a tender smile, she whispered, No, you're Danny, aren't you? Her words, simple yet profound, pierced the tension. David felt a rush of relief so intense it nearly buckled his knees. Here he was, his most authentic self laid bare, and instead of judgment, he found recognition in Lisa's eyes. A recognition that offered not just acceptance, but an embrace. Lisa moved closer, her presence a calm certainty. I'm sorry for barging in like this. I didn't mean to startle you, she said, her tone warm and devoid of any judgment. This is a beautiful dress, Danny. Red suits you. David, his initial shock fading into a tentative hope, found his voice. Thank you, Lisa, he said, the name Danny lingering in the air like a promise. I, I've never been seen like this. Lisa nodded, her expression softening further. Well, I'm honored to be the first, and I'm here, whatever you need. In that small apartment, the world outside momentarily forgotten, a new chapter began for David, or rather, for Danny. With Lisa's unexpected arrival and her subsequent acceptance, the journey towards embracing his true identity had taken a dramatic, hopeful turn. Here, in the safety of his sanctuary, supported by the compassion of family, Danny's transformation found its first ally, setting the stage for everything that was to come. As Lisa closed the door behind her, the soft click seemed to seal the apartment off from the rest of the world, creating a safe bubble where only truth existed. She turned to face David, her smile gentle and reassuring, an unspoken promise that he was safe here with her. Slowly, she crossed the room and took a seat next to him on the couch, her presence comforting in its familiarity, yet charged with the new understanding between them. Lisa took a moment to gather her thoughts, then began to speak. David or Danny, she corrected herself with a smile, I can't pretend to know exactly how you feel, but I want you to know that I am here for you, completely. Her voice was soft, filled with empathy and a deep respect for his vulnerability. It takes a lot of courage to explore who you really are, especially in a world that can be so quick to judge. Danny listened, the tension slowly draining from his body as Lisa's words washed over him. For the first time in what felt like forever, he didn't feel the need to hide or to pretend. Here was someone who saw him, truly saw him, and didn't turn away. Lisa reached out and took his hands in hers, her touch warm and steady. I want you to know that you have my full support. Whatever steps you need to take to be comfortable and happy in your own skin, I'll be right beside you. Her words were a balm to Danny's long hidden wounds. He nodded, feeling a surge of gratitude so intense it nearly overwhelmed him. 
Thank you, Lisa, he managed to say, his voice thick with emotion. It means everything to hear you say that. Lisa gave his hands a gentle squeeze before standing up. Wait here for a moment. Desk, she said with a wink. I have something that might help. She left the apartment briefly and returned carrying a large suitcase. Setting it down with a flourish, she opened it to reveal an array of women's clothing in various styles and colors. I was going to donate these, but I think they might be more useful to you, she explained, her eyes twinkling. Consider it a starter kit for Danny. Danny's eyes widened as he looked at the contents of the suitcase. Dresses, blouses, skirts, all beautiful and in his size. It was as if Lisa had brought him the first pieces of a puzzle he had been trying to solve alone for so long. Try them on, Lisa encouraged, excitement evident in her voice. Let's see what makes you feel fabulous. As Danny selected a soft blue blouse and a pair of tailored pants, Lisa helped him adjust the fit, showing him how to tuck and drape the fabric to best flatter his frame. Each piece of clothing felt like a piece of armor, just strengthening him, making him feel more like himself than he had ever felt before. The evening stretched into night, filled with laughter and stories, the room aglow with the soft light of acceptance and newfound freedom. For Danny, Lisa's acceptance and the suitcase of clothes were more than gifts. They were symbols of a new beginning, a chance to live out loud as the person he always knew he was meant to be. With Lisa's unwavering support, Danny began to reshape his world, one outfit, one makeup lesson at a time. Their first shopping trip together was a revelation. Under Lisa's guiding eye, Danny learned to select fabrics and cuts that complemented his figure, his preferences evolving with each garment he tried. The aisles of clothing, once daunting labyrinths, transformed into playgrounds of expression. Each piece Danny tried on added layers to his emerging identity. Lisa, ever patient, taught him the nuances of makeup, how a simple stroke of eyeliner could redefine a look, or how the right shade of lipstick could elevate his mood. Back at his apartment, their practice sessions often ended in laughter, a joyful counterpoint to the years of solitude that marked Danny's previous experiments with his appearance. Lisa also encouraged Danny to grow out his hair, suggesting styles that would frame his face beautifully. Every small decision was a step away from his past, a step towards Danny. They documented these changes in a shared diary, a tangible record of his metamorphosis. Each entry was a mix of reflections, photos, and even fabric swatches, creating a vivid scrapbook of their journey together. Weekends with Lisa became the highlights of Danny's new life. Each outing was an adventure an opportunity to test how he felt in the broader world. They started small, quiet cafes early in the morning or late movie showings when the crowds were thin. With each successful outing, Danny's confidence grew. He learned to navigate the world, not just as someone dressing as a woman, but as Danny, a woman in her own right. As they explored different styles, each choice was more daring, more aligned with Danny's sense of self. The diary entries became increasingly hopeful reflecting a future filled with possibilities. Danny wrote about the reactions of strangers, most oblivious, some appreciative, and a few unkind. Each reaction was a lesson, and Lisa was there to help him process them, turning even the harsh moments into steps of growth. Their bond deepened, not just through the fun of transformation, but through the shared experience of confronting and conquering fears. Lisa was more than a guide. She was a confidant and a sister in arms. The diary captured not only a physical transformation, but a soulful connection that blossomed in the rich soil of empathy and acceptance. The culmination of their weekends came when Danny decided he was ready for his public debut. It was planned meticulously, a night out at a popular but inclusive venue known for its vibrant and accepting crowd. Danny chose a bold, elegant dress that Lisa had helped him pick, one that celebrated his figure and his journey. That evening, as they stepped out together, Danny's heart was a symphony of emotions, nervous, excited, but above all, free. Lisa's presence by his side was a silent anthem of support. As they walked into the venue, Danny felt the weight of gazes, the air charged with scrutiny and curiosity. But armed with months of preparation and Lisa's unwavering encouragement, Danny held his head high. The night unfolded like a dream, a sweet affirmation of everything he had hoped to be. The diary entry that night was simple yet profound. Tonight, I stepped into the light, 
not alone, but hand in hand with the sister who taught me that the bravest thing I could ever do was to be myself. This entry wasn't just a milestone, it was a declaration, a testament to the transformative power of acceptance and the first day of the rest of Danny's life. As Danny's transformation became more pronounced, the challenges he faced evolved in complexity and intensity. Family gatherings, once a source of comfort and casual camaraderie, transformed into arenas of silent judgment and unspoken tension. Despite the support from Lisa, these gatherings tested Danny's newfound confidence, making each occasion a gauntlet he had to endure. The real test came during a large family dinner, organized to celebrate a relative's milestone birthday. The room was filled with extended family, cousins, aunts, uncles, many of whom Danny had not seen since his transformation began. As he entered the room with Lisa, whispers cut through the air like knives and stares lingered longer than they should. The weight of countless eyes examining every detail of his appearance made Danny's heart race. And for a moment, he felt a familiar urge to retreat, to shrink back into the shadows where it was safe. But Lisa, ever observant and fiercely protective, sensed his discomfort and decided it was time to address the elephant in the room. As the dinner progressed, she found her moment. Standing up, glass in hand, commanding the attention of the room, Lisa cleared her throat. The chatter slowly died down, and all eyes turned to her. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa began, her voice steady and filled with a resolve that quieted the room further. I know many of you have noticed Danny's changes. I know it might be unexpected, and perhaps for some of you difficult to understand. She paused, glancing at Danny with a reassuring smile before continuing. But what I want to talk about tonight isn't just about understanding. It's about love and acceptance. Her words flowed with grace and conviction. Danny is still the person you've laughed with, shared stories with, and loved. The courage it takes to be true to oneself, to stand in one's truth in a world that might not always be kind. That courage is something we should all aspire to. At this point, Lisa's husband, a skilled lawyer known for his rational and persuasive oratory, stood to join his wife. His presence lent an additional layer of seriousness to the discussion. Legally speaking, he added, everyone has the right to live according to their true identity, protected under the law. Danny's choice is supported by laws that respect individual rights and freedoms. It's not just a personal decision, but a legally valid one. Their united front was powerful. Lisa spoke of the heart of family and love, while her husband reinforced it with the logic of law and rights. Together, they presented a compelling argument for acceptance and respect, educating the family not just about what it means to be transgender, but also about the importance of supporting one another's choices in life. The response was mixed. Some nodded in agreement, moved by Lisa's words and reassured by the legal perspective, while others remained silent, their faces unreadable. But the important thing was that the conversation had started, barriers had been broken, and the path to understanding had been paved. As the dinner concluded, Danny felt a complex mix of emotions. Though the path ahead was undoubtedly fraught with more challenges, the evening had shown him the power of having advocates in his corner. Lisa and her husband's defense not only fortified his legal standing, but also his place within the family, marking a significant step toward broader acceptance. This confrontation at the dinner table became a pivotal moment in Danny's journey, one that would be remembered as a turning point in his life of living openly and authentically. As Danny continued to embrace his identity more fully, Lisa's husband Mark became an invaluable ally, offering not just moral support, but professional guidance as well. Their sessions together began shortly after the family dinner, transforming Mark's office into a sanctuary where legal jargon was demystified and Danny's rights were clearly laid out and defended. During their initial meeting, Mark spread out various documents and legal texts across his desk, each paper a stepping stone towards Danny's legal recognition as a woman. First, we'll tackle the name chain change, Mark explained, pointing to the forms. It's more than just paperwork, it's a declaration of your identity. Once we get your new name legally recognized, everything else will start to fall into place. Danny listened intently, absorbing the information that Mark provided. The process was daunting, with layers of bureaucracy that seemed designed to intimidate. 
but Mark's clear, methodical explanations made it manageable. They discussed the implications of changing the gender marker on Danny's driver's license, social security records, and passport. Each of these steps solidifies your identity legally, Mark noted, and with these changes, you'll be recognized by society and the law exactly as you see yourself. Perhaps more importantly, Mark provided a thorough overview of anti-discrimination laws that protected Danny in the workplace and in public accommodations. You have rights, Danny, and the law is there to ensure you can live freely and safely as your true self, Mark emphasized, highlighting specific statutes and recent case law that supported transgender rights. This knowledge was a new kind of armor, one that fortified Danny's spirit and resolved as much as it did his legal standing. As the weeks passed and they navigated the legal landscape together, Danny felt a growing sense of empowerment. Each form filled out and filed, each successful update to his documents, felt like a victory, a tangible manifestation of his identity that the world had to acknowledge. The fear of societal backlash, while not entirely gone, was significantly mitigated by the understanding that he was legally protected, that he had rights and could defend them if challenged. Lisa and Mark's support in these legal matters did more than just ease Danny's transition. They transformed it into a journey pursued with dignity and security. Danny found himself moving through the world with a newfound confidence, less burdened by the fear of what others might think or do, knowing he had a legal framework to support his existence. This phase of Danny's transformation underpinned by legal and emotional support, not only deepened his relationship with Lisa and Mark, but also reshaped his interactions with the world. He began to engage more openly, participating in community events and advocating for others undergoing similar journeys. The legal processes, once daunting, now symbolized the strength he had found within himself and the unconditional support he had from those he loved. With the legal hurdles navigated and her identity firmly established, Danny began to live full-time as the woman she always knew herself to be. This transition was not just an internal shift, but one that visibly radiated her newfound happiness and confidence. Danny's days of hiding and uncertainty diminished, replaced by a vibrant presence that drew others into her newfound joy. Recognizing the importance of marking this significant life transition, Lisa decided to organize a celebration it was not merely a party, it was a rite of passage, a moment to officially introduce Danny to the world in her true form. Lisa planned the event meticulously, wanting to create an atmosphere that was not only festive, but deeply affirming for Danny. The venue was Lisa's spacious backyard, transformed with strings of soft white lights, floral arrangements, and clusters of cozy seating areas that invited intimate conversations. The guest list was carefully curated, comprising friends and family who had supported Danny's journey or were open to embracing her transition with open hearts. As the evening began, guests were greeted with the sight of Danny, radiant and beaming, dressed in an elegant gown that flowed gracefully with every movement. Her appearance was the embodiment of her spirit, free, joyful, and authentic. Lisa stayed close, her pride in Danny palpable, as she introduced her to each guest, not just as Danny, but as the woman who had emerged triumphant through adversity. The air was filled with music and laughter, the kind of genuine, heartfelt mirth that arises from true happiness. Speeches were made, with Lisa taking the lead. She spoke eloquently about the journey of change, not just for Danny, but for all who had taken the steps alongside her. Tonight, Lisa declared, we celebrate Danny, a remarkable woman who teaches us all the meaning of courage and authenticity. Tears mingled with smiles as those gathered listened, moved by the palpable love and acceptance that filled the space. Even the family skeptics, who had initially struggled with Danny's transition, couldn't help but be affected by the overwhelming joy and peace that shone from Danny's eyes. Witnessing her happiness and the community's acceptance, their doubts began to melt away, replaced by a deeper understanding of Danny's true self. As the night drew to a close, Danny took a moment to address the gathering. Her voice, strong yet laden with emotion, carried over the crowd. Thank you all for being here, for seeing me, truly seeing me, she said, her eyes glistening under the soft glow of the party lights. This journey has been one of the hardest, but also the most liberating of my life. Knowing that I have all of you by my side makes everything worthwhile. 
The party ended on a note of communal warmth with hugs exchanged and promises to support one another. As the guests departed, Danny stood beside Lisa, looking out over the transformed backyard, a symbol of her own transformation. The evening was more than a celebration. It was a declaration that Danny was no longer just surviving. She was thriving, embraced by a community that loved her, not in spite of her truth, but because of it. This full blossoming was not just a moment of personal achievement for Danny, but a beacon of hope and acceptance, illuminating a path for others to follow. Danny's journey reached a significant milestone as she prepared for her first day at a new job, an opportunity that symbolized not just a career advancement, but a chance to integrate her personal and professional lives as her authentic self. The design firm, known for its commitment to diversity and inclusion, had impressed Danny during the interview process with its genuine interest in creating an environment where all employees could thrive. On the morning of her first day, Danny stood in front of her wardrobe, selecting her outfit with both excitement and a bit of nervous anticipation. She chose a sleek, modern dress that spoke of her creative flair and professional acumen, paired with a blazer that projected confidence. Her attire was not just a statement of her style, but a declaration of her identity. Lisa, ever her steadfast supporter, arrived early to accompany Danny to her new workplace. Her presence was both a comfort and a bolstering force, reminding Danny of the countless steps they had navigated together to reach this point. As they drove to the office, Lisa offered a stream of encouragement. You're going to be amazing, Danny. They're lucky to have you. Arriving at the office, Danny took a deep breath before stepping out of the car her heart fluttering with a cocktail of nerves and anticipation. The building loomed large, its modern facade a beacon of new beginnings. Together, they walked through the revolving doors into a lobby bustling with activity, yet inviting in its warmth. Danny's introduction to her new colleagues was a flurry of handshakes and welcoming smiles. Each interaction was underscored by a quiet confidence that Danny mustered, meeting the curious gazes with a gentle assertiveness. Her colleagues were a diverse group, reflective of the firm's inclusive ethos, and they seemed genuinely interested in getting to know her, both as a designer and as a person. The firm had arranged a small welcome gathering in the break room, complete with coffee and pastries. As Danny mingled, sharing bits about her background and her design philosophy, the initial butterflies in her stomach began to settle. The responses were encouraging, peppered with nods of appreciation and enthusiastic comments about her portfolio. Lisa watched from a distance, her heart swelling with pride. She had witnessed every struggle and setback, every triumph and milestone on Danny's path to this day. Seeing Danny now, interacting with her new colleagues with such poised assurance, Lisa knew that all the challenges had been worth it. As the gathering wound down, Danny's new manager pulled her aside. We're really excited to see what you'll bring to our team, Danny, he said, his smile warm and welcoming. Your perspective is unique, and I believe it will enrich our projects tremendously. With those affirming words, Danny felt a profound sense of belonging. She knew there would be challenges ahead, but the support of her workplace and the continued backing of Lisa provided a strong foundation upon which she could build her future. As Lisa left the office, giving Danny a final hug, she whispered, Make it amazing, Danny. This is your world now. Danny nodded, her eyes bright with determination and the promise of new horizons. Danny settled into her new desk, her gaze sweeping across the open plan office filled with creative buzz and collaborative energy. She was exactly where she needed to be, not just physically, but in her life's journey. This wasn't just a new job. It was the next chapter of a life lived with authenticity embraced fully and unapologetically in all its vibrant hues. Several weeks after Danny started her new job, she and Lisa met at a quaint cafe nestled in a quiet part of the city. The cafe, with its cozy ambience and soft jazz playing in the background, provided the perfect setting for reflection and heartfelt conversation. As they sat across from each other, sipping their coffee, the noise of the world seemed to fade away leaving them in a bubble of shared experiences and mutual understanding. Danny leaned forward, her eyes gleaming with unshed tears of gratitude. Lisa, she began, her voice thick with emotion. I can't thank you enough, 
not just for the clothes or for standing up for me that night at dinner, but for believing in me when I was struggling to believe in myself. Lisa reached across the table, squeezing Danny's hands. I saw who you were from the beginning, Danny. All you needed was a little push to see it yourself. I'm just so proud of how far you've come. They discussed the changes not only in Danny's personal life, but also how she was thriving at her new job. Danny shared stories of her projects, the positive feedback from her colleagues, and how she felt empowered to bring her full self to her work, which had not only improved her output, but also her self-esteem. Their conversation gradually shifted towards the future. Danny, inspired by her own experiences and the support she had received, expressed a desire to give back to the community. I've been thinking a lot about how I can help others who are going through similar journeys, she said thoughtfully. Maybe starting a blog like I used to read, or even a support group that can offer what you gave me, understanding and a safe space to grow. Lisa nodded enthusiastically. That's a wonderful idea, Danny. Your story could inspire so many people, just as you've inspired me. Let's think about how we can start something together. Maybe a series of workshops or talks? As they brainstormed ideas, the initial seeds of a new project began to take shape, a blend of advocacy and support that could help others embrace their identities with dignity and pride. The afternoon waned, and as they prepared to leave, Danny paused by the window, looking out at the bustling street, a thoughtful expression on her face. The city moved around her, each person carrying their own story, unaware of the profound changes she had undergone. With a deep, contented sigh, Danny turned back to Lisa with a smile, a symbol of peace and fulfillment. I'm really doing this, aren't I? Living as my true self, out loud and unafraid, she murmured. Yes, you are, Lisa affirmed, her voice soft but firm, and you'll help others do the same. As they left the cafe, stepping back into the flow of city life, Danny felt a surge of hope and purpose. Her journey had been one of transformation and revelation, guided by the unwavering support of Lisa and the newfound strength within herself. Now, it was her turn to extend that sisterhood's embrace to others, sharing the light she had found with those still searching for their way. This moment by the window, reflecting on the past and looking forward to the future, closed Danny's chapter of transformation and opened another, her ongoing journey of living authentically and helping others to do the same, all under the wide sky of acceptance and love.